Hello there. Good old YouTube fellas and fans and subscribers and watchers. My Cena battery died, so I figured I'd shoot a little vlog as I'd uh, we head back. We rode down this way, which you saw in the uh, little third cut there, and now riding back up this way. I took off the, uh, I don't know if I, did I say that earlier? I took off the Mustang seat off of the, off of the bike. I had a Mustang seat on here, the front and the rear. I took it off, put the stock back on, using that with an Airhawk. So, it's not too bad right now. One thing with the Mustang seat, it actually, it actually pushes you forward an inch. So the way that you sit on the controls and everything is different. And, um, after a while I felt like eh, I kind of didn't like that so I'm gonna sell them and uh, looking at going with the either the ultimate seat or the ED seat but whichever one I gotta have that backrest I really got used to having the backrest on and you know a long ride you can kind of just lean back and it just like support too and you can kind of just you know my lower back always kind of gives me issues but you know it's it's that it's big help and uh, well, hopefully that would be nice. It's just one of these amazing fall days where it's just so nice. And it's warm. It's not. I got the Kevlar pants on today, so it's not too bad. You know, it's all right. I don't need to have the overpants off to block the wind. Overpants on to block the wind. So that's another thing too. With the change of seat, it changed my reach to the. Uh, to the highway pegs so my highway pegs are a little further forward I mean I can still relax my feet on like this you probably can see I don't know you should be able to see that because I did check the angle of the camera so you should still be able to see um, my feet somewhat but I changed it up a little bit so you see a little less of the tank hopefully I didn't move it or anything but yeah, it changes, changed that, uh, it changed my reach to there, amazingly, <laughs> so, yeah, nice little ride over here, by Hawk's Nest area, we rode down that way and went to the gas station and turned around, probably to get a little bite to eat, then I gotta go, I gotta head back, I gotta get my son from school take him to the dentist and get the girls take him to karate and then come back home figure out dinner so that'll be never a dull moment as a dad Oof. I forgot to charge my Cena last night I didn't even think about that just, uh, just didn't dawn on me charge a GoPro but didn't dawn on me to hey plug your Cena in and charge it. Oh well. Yeah. For all those uh, other vlogs, what was it, uh, 60 and 61 that I put up? I put that, all of that was on, you know, using the Cena. <laughs> it just uh, totally mashed my battery, so. Oh well, I guess uh, I'll be sure it's charged next time probably pull over at one of these little lookouts over here go we're actually heading back towards uh back towards Hawksness so I'll pull over and plug it in into the saddlebag plug it in in there should be alright Indian head everybody likes a little Indian head Still rolling along the river here. So nice. Nice day to have the top down, huh? See that. Top down, the vent open. Not too many days left in, uh, warm weather here might end up getting some uh, might end up getting some uh, what you call it there 
little bit of cooler weather eventually. Scared to know. Another guy out for a nice ride. Beautiful thing. Well, anyhow, thank you guys for watching the series. I'm going to use the YouTube creator and join them all together. And uh, Chase is blowing these leaves all over the place. Use the YouTube creator and join them all together. Make them just one long video. And uh, if you don't mind watching, then I guess you would have watched all the way to here pretty much. Just slowing down a little bit. You can check this view out. It's pretty nice. I thought this was so awesome. We came down from the other side and saw this. It was just nice. Look at that. You can see the river and everything. No cars behind me, so. That's just awesome. And I was saying, uh, you probably heard, I was like, God, this looks like a great fly fishing spot. <laughs> you can most likely just walk right out over here and cast your line out. You know, there's got to be some fish in there. Has to be. I don't know if they have any no fishing rules in there or anything. I would like to think not. So, who knows. Alright, guys. Well... I do thank you all for riding. And, uh, thank you all for riding. <laughs> thank you all for viewing. And I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little video series. I'm going to try and get it all uploaded and join it together. I don't know how long that's going to take to get done, but I'll try and do it tonight. See if I can get it all up tonight. And then I got a spare computer the iMac is still down and I go to the YouTube webpage and uh, that's how I split that vlog 61 and uh, you know go to the YouTube page and join and apparently you can join different videos together on there also so we'll see how that works out post that up all right you guys I will see you later take it easy your best one a out